Hi, Jasmine. I'm about to do your tag. Question one. Have you ever volunteered? Yes, I have. The first time I remember volunteering was when I was a kid and in Girl Scouts. And um, they needed camp counselors for a day camp. So I said I would do it. So um, that was the first time I volunteered. And now I crochet things for donation, like uh, premature baby hats and things like that. Um, number two, what's the best compliment you've ever received? It's strange, and I've told this story before. But when I was in college, Alex must have been about 11, maybe 12, and he needed a lot, a lot, a lot of attention. And I was taking a psychology class because it was required and I had to write a paper. And I put it off for too long, which I knew was a mistake. So I'm trying to write the paper and Alex is bothering me and I'm trying to tell him, wait, 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 wait. And then taking time and doing stuff with him and then trying to come back to it and it ended up getting the lowest grade you can give, a failing grade. So the professor passed everyone back their paper. And then she looked at me and she said, can I speak to you out in the hall? And you know, I was um, like nearly four, no, I was in my 40s. And all these other students were kids, you know, 18, 19, whatever. And they're all looking around and probably going, ooh, under her breath, their breath and everything. But this teacher brought me out into the hall and closed the door so nobody could hear. She said, this is a terrible paper. And I said, Yes, I agree. I know it's a terrible paper. And I agree with the grade you gave me. And she then told me that. She said, but you have the best writing, spelling, grammar, punctuation of any student I've ever had. And that just made me feel, well, it pumped up my ego a lot. Let's just say that. And that actually is the best compliment I've ever received in my life. Question three, do you carry a donor card? Yes. Well, as Stevie said, in the United States, we, it's on our driver's license, but you can choose in California it's a little different. We don't sign the back of the card to be a donor. Um, we sign it on the application form if we want to be a donor. And then the state prints donor on the front of our license. So, um, yes, I'm a donor. Question four. How well do you cook? I think that's what you meant. I, but I'm going to answer it both ways. How well do you cook? Well, people eat my food. Let's put it that way. I can get fancy and make things that people don't eat every day, like um, Thai peanut sauce. And I don't know food from other countries that I really have enjoyed and like my, uh, Jamaican jerk sauce. I really love making that and uh, letting meat soak in it. Um, 
And the other way is, the first way I understood the question is, is what would a good cook say about your cooking? And I'm pretty sure you didn't mean it that way, but just in case you did, I don't know what a good cook would say about my cooking. Maybe they would say my cooking is out there. I don't know. Um, question five. What scares you about aging? Having no family around and being made to live in a rest home scares me the most. Yeah. That scares me the most. Because if I get some sort of dementia, it I don't know what that's like, but it seems that it would be less scary for me than it would for everyone else. Um, but if I don't have it and I have to live in a nursing home, I'm going to be very unhappy. Yep, believe it. Okay, this was a very good tag. And Jasmine, I will see you later. Bye.